this is Nafisa and welcome to another episode of Naf's Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you a snack recipe called stuffed bread roll. I will show you two different stuffing for this recipe but the fun part about this recipe is that you can use any stuffing that you like. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. For this recipe we will need 6 to 8 slices of white bread. I've taken 8 slices here. 100 grams of grated cheddar cheese, few mint leaves chopped finely, half of one small onion chopped finely, two teaspoon of mayonnaise, half of one green chili chopped finely, but that is optional, one boiled egg, approximately one cup of breadcrumbs, little bit of black pepper, and salt water to soak the bread. First of all, I will remove crust from the bread. So I've taken the crust off from the bread. I'll keep it aside and I will prepare the stuffing now. As I'm going to show you two different types of stuffing, I'm going to divide this cheddar cheese into two different bowls so that I can use half for the egg mixture and half for the cheddar cheese mixture. For the cheddar cheese mixture, I'm going to put approximately 50 grams of grated cheddar cheese, then the onion, mint leaves, green chili, and the mayonnaise. I'll mix them well and a little bit of black pepper. When you're mixing it, you need to press it so that it forms a lump. As you can see that we are not putting any salt because cheddar cheese has salt in it already. For the egg mixture, I'll take the boiled egg and you need to break it like this. The egg mixture should be like this and then we will add mayonnaise, one teaspoon and the rest of the cheddar cheese, approximately 50 grams. Mix well, some black pepper, In the egg mixture, if you wish, you can add coriander leaves or mint leaves and even onion if you want. So the breads are here, the stuffings are ready. I'm going to show you now how to prepare the bread roll. Dip the bread like this. Take it out. Squeeze out all the water that is inside the bread like this. We are going to put the cheese stuffing and then close from all the side like this. Once you close, just press it like this so that there is no gap. Take it in your hand and squeeze out any excess water that is inside the bread. Then do like this. Press. Now roll it in the breadcrumb. So the bread rolls are ready. I'm going to keep it in the fridge for at least an hour before frying. The reason I will put it in the fridge is that 
The moisture from the bread needs to dry up so that when we will fry the bread rolls, they won't break. Let's put it in the fridge. I've taken the bread rolls out from the fridge. It's already been an hour and they look nice and firm. So the bread rolls are ready to fry now. When the oil is hot, you can start to fry your bread rolls two at a time. Keep the flame in medium heat. When the color turns out like this, light golden brown, take it out and put it on the plate. So let's see how it looks inside. Oh, that is amazing. And let's see the egg. Give it a thumbs up if you like this video and click here to subscribe for more videos. Keep watching and Nak will be back with some more yummy recipes next time. Bye-bye.